whether it's the end of the world as we know it. Maybe I'll run into you at a support group or, a, or an orgy or something. No, that sounds nice. Making friends with a robot. What do you mean, what about you? If you die eating cheeseburgers, what do you think happens to me? We're seeking a partner for time travel. What time would you go back to? You wouldn't want to see the dragons and the elves fight each other in the magical forest. That wasn't a time. Check out the movies we call Our Hidden Gems of 2012. Hi, I'm Brenna. I'm Aaron. And I'm Liz. Now that 2012 is over, let's look back at some hidden gems you might have missed. Aaron, what do you recommend? I want to recommend Robot and Frank. Brenna? I recommend seeking a friend for the end of the world. And my pick is Safety Not Guaranteed. So now that the Mayans are wrong and the world didn't end, let's talk about a film where it did. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World is about the last few weeks on Earth before a giant meteor named Matilda will come and destroy all life. And the story focuses on Dodge, which is played by Steve Carell, as he's trying to figure out what to do with his last three weeks and what he did with his whole life. And he decides he's going to go find the one that got away. He teams up with his downstairs neighbor, Penny, who's played by Keira Knightley. They go on a fun road trip with their impending doom looming over them as they try and figure out what to do. I never saw myself as an old man. Really? I thought I was gonna live forever. I was totally gonna peak at 40. Well, I hear 30 is in at 40. <laughs> So it was directed and written by Laureen Scafaria, and she wrote Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Which I love. Yeah. I love Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. It's great. And this is her first time directing. And she does a really great job with that. Kira Knightley, Steve Carell, that's kind of awkward, but they have amazing chemistry, and they're one of the best romantic relationships I've seen all year. What are you doing with the rest of your life? Oh, um, little of this, little of that. Probably catching up on some me time. Find God. Maybe move around some chairs. <laughs> Kira Knightley plays sort of a manic pixie dream girl in this, and I usually hate manic pixie dream girls. They're these, these constructs of these writers who make this perfect woman who's there, to break the, who's there to break the guy out of his bubble and get him to enjoy life. But she's not like that in this film. In this film, they both exist for each other, so she helps him, but he helps her just as much. And she really likes vinyl records. Oh yeah, she really likes vinyl. Of course she does, she's a manic pixie dream girl. <laughs> Another reason why I love this movie so much is seeing how different regular folks would deal with their impending doom. But my personal favorite is while they're on the road trip, they pass this house where this woman's having a yard sale. <laughs> a week before the world ends. And there's another woman there buying stuff. Like little <laughs> things like that just completely cement it. And a great script and great directing and amazing performances from Keira Knightley and Steve Carell make this one of my favorites. It's out on DVD now, so feel free to rent it or even buy it. I'm going to talk about Robot and Frank. This film stars Frank Langella as Frank, an aging jewel thief, and uh, he's starting to face some health issues. So Frank's son purchases him a robot. He's against the idea of a robot helping him at first, but he eventually becomes more accustomed to living with it and kind of forms a bond with the robot, especially when it helps him kind of restart his career as a jewel thief. This is the first film from director Jake Schreier and writer Christopher D. Ford, who won a Sundance Award for the film. What I really enjoy about Robot and Frank is the lead performance by Frank Langella. I think he's absolutely terrific in this movie. And the way he develops this bond with the robot, who's voiced by Peter Sarsgaard, it's kind of touching. Well, why don't you pretend that Mr. Darcy is a human being like me and start up a conversation? Hi there. How are you doing? I'm functioning normally. As am I. Yeah, well, the film is no longer in theaters, but it will be on a Blu-ray and DVD on a, in February, early February 2013. So I picked Safety Not Guaranteed, and it stars Aubrey Plaza, Jake Johnson, and Mark Duplass. The main story kicks off when Aubrey Plaza's character gets dragged along on a work trip where they have to interview the writer of the classified ad that is looking for a time travel partner. There are people after me. How do I know you don't work for them? Because I've never worked for anybody in my life. You ever faced certain death? If it was so certain, I wouldn't be here, would I? What's really exciting about this film is that because it's about time travel, everyone gets to talk about their major regrets in life and where they would go and what they would do. And I think that's great for learning, you know, a lot about every character. He's over there right now thinking he's building a friggin' time machine. I don't know. What are the chances he can do that with these lasers? How would I he know? He doesn't know. He's not a freaking stormtrooper either. Stormtroopers don't know anything about lasers or time travel. They're blue-collar workers. 
One of my favorite performances is this actor named Karan Sony, and he plays Arnaud. And Arnaud is the other intern who works with Aubrey Plaza. I very rarely see someone so natural on screen as this actor. Yeah, he brings a nice kind of balance to the, the trio of characters here, and he's yeah. even kind of more socially awkward than Aubrey Plaza's character. Right, and that it just supports this idea, this theme of these awkward marginal characters connecting with each other. The film won an award at Sundance for Derek Connolly's script, and it currently rates at 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. But I don't know many people have seen it, and I think that's unfortunate <clears> because it's, it's quite sweet, and the ending of the film is the best part. I think Jake Johnson's rising success will probably make more people check it out. It's a film that certainly left me wanting more. I wanted yeah. more from it because I really enjoyed it. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World is just really sweet and a lot of fun. But watch out because it'll probably get you in the end. And I recommend that everybody see it. Robot and Frank is a small film with a big heart and a terrific lead performance for Frank Langella. It deserves more attention. I say see it. Safety Not Guaranteed is a film where the actions of the main characters are really thought out. And that's incredibly unusual. With that and the fact that it's very genuine, See it. Well, here's to the hidden gems of 2012. Can't wait for 2013s. Robots. So when all humans are extinct, you're not going to start a robot society? I don't understand, Frank. <laughs>